this is the only health center available in this remote region, with a population of more than 5,000 nomadic pastoralists. The doctors here tell me they are limited in terms of resources and cannot fully deliver. Acute water diarrhea has so far claimed the lives of eight people in Heriro village, mostly children. There is a huge widespread of waterborne diseases, especially acute water diarrhea. Four have died here in this village. In the rural areas, another old man died recently. A small child and a woman also died in a nearby, in a nearby village. We don't know the exact cause, but we attribute it to the animal carcasses that were not disposed properly. Not far from the village, dried up husks and carcasses are scattered all over. The local health officials are trying to teach people how to properly dispose of carcasses. The nomadic community here is faced with a huge water crisis. These water trucks bring water to pastoralists hundreds of kilometers from the nearby urban centers. The vehicles you see over there bring water here every day. This is a community effort, but it's not enough. Not every pastoralist has benefited from this water station. All the pastoralists you see behind me come to get water here at this time. They moved hundreds of kilometers away with their animals. Up to 4,000 to 5,000 nomads have benefited from here. Nomads here tell me that the drought has weakened their livestock. Most nomads lost their animals while traveling in search of pasture and water. The animals are too weak. They cannot walk for long distances to major water wells. Majority don't have any access to water. We ask God for help, we want the world to help, and we want the Somali government to address the water crisis here. The main challenge facing the local community here is lack of water. And that water tube behind me serves more than 5,000 families, all of them pastoralists. Some have traveled for days to this place, from as far as Ethiopia, Somaliland, and others from central Somalia. Water is the most precious commodity here. This young man came here recently from central Somalia, and this water reserve is the only source of water for his family and their livestock. A truck delivering water charged us $100 for 30 litres. There is a huge water crisis here that has affected both people and animals. Our main need is water and we badly need it. The local elders have come together here to pray for rain, heeding the president's call for a national prayer day. But if it doesn't rain soon, experts here say these nomads will once again suffer a devastating impact of a much bigger scale. Abdul Aziz Bilo, CGTN, Heriro Village, Puntland State in northeastern Somalia.